We have a super typhoon out here in the Western Pacific. Yagi, formerly known as Enteng, when it was over the Philippines, did upgrade to a super typhoon and now has been seeing some slow weakening. A little bit of dry air is circulating into the storm. But, I mean, look at the infrared satellite imagery here. During that peak intensity, fairly powerful. But now we switch this over to that enhanced IR, courtesy of Windy. And, yeah, you can see a little bit of dry air kind of filtering in from the north, likely going through an eye wall replacement cycle. Signal Force 8 has been raised on the Hong Kong scale for Hong Kong, meaning that most businesses have been shut down at this point. As this nears Hainan, likely going to see typhoon, you are going to see typhoon conditions there, I should say, especially northern portions of the island. While inflow continues to wrap around and from Pangan Sinan all the way down towards areas like Subic into the NCR, still seeing that enhanced monsoonal threat. Now, take a look at the track according to JTWC. As I mentioned, they did downgrade this to a typhoon, winds of 125 versus 130 knots. Still a big bad storm, guys. I mean, if you're out here ahead of this, especially in northern Hainan, I usually don't have very many people watching from China, but I do have people watching from Vietnam based on my analytics. And Hanoi, you're probably going to be looking at some pretty decent weather, especially into the uh, delta here right near the coast. I think a storm surge is very well possible, not to mention that heavy rainfall, just torrential. They're indicated here in the darker blue as this pushes off towards the west. Uh, these coastal cities like Haiphong, Namdin, I hope I'm saying that right, guys. If I'm not, let me know. Um, and Hanoi, of course, uh, further inland, this rain is going to slam into those mountains, and this storm will likely just precipitate itself out. All the while, you know, of course, we're talking about this uh, as it pushes off here towards the west, passing over Hainan. Um, all the while, we continue to see inflow kind of coming out on the backside of this storm. Now, that's going to ease off just a bit as we get ahead into the weekend. But for now, I mean, the, the center of circulation, definitely the main impactor here. But that inflow is just kind of compound an already kind of bad situation. Take a look at this. Uh, death toll from this storm system, according to the NDRMC, the official kind of agency that puts out this information in the Philippines, uh, you know, seven uh, there in B call three central besides we had two. It, yeah, the, the total fatalities upwards of 13 uh, people here. Um, 11 injuries and uh, 15 people missing across the uh, Philippines after this storm. So uh, this spun up right at the last second. It wasn't the, the strongest typhoon when it was over the Philippines, but still some pretty serious impacts. And as I mentioned, we're still looking at additional rain. These are the latest rainfall warnings. According to Pagasa here, heavy rainfall warnings across parts of the NCR off towards Zambales, uh, Bataan, um, yeah, it's continuing to see that precip. So let's take a look at the forecast. According to the Japan Meteorological Agency, and yeah, this is pulling off towards the west, expected to move over Hanan once again. Another nice little graphic kind of visually show you what I'm talking about here with the strongest of the core of the winds. Now, look at that whole kind of wind feeder band following it behind us. See how this ta tapers off by the weekend? That is the reduction in that enhanced monsoonal flow. So until the weekend, until about Saturday, we're going to continue to see that additional precip here. But then it starts to taper off as our storm begins to weaken on top of that. All the while, we got other stuff to talk about. We have a new storm system out here off the east coast. A Lepi, Leapy, L-E-E-P-I, uh, moving towards the north. I'm not worried about that. More concerned about this guy, which I'm going to have more updates on this one. Uh, heading towards Guam and could be some pretty decent impacts for our friends across the Mariana Islands. So, yeah, that's the potential storm system looking ahead. So we're going to continue to watch that. We got plenty of other stuff to talk about here across the tropics today. And uh, I'm going to do my best to keep you guys posted on what's happening. By the way, here heading into the weekend as weather conditions do improve across Luzon, uh, check out our friends at um, Ikani Surf Resort that is out here in northern Lucas Norte. Uh, they have a tournament going on, and I just want to give them a shout-out. They have support in this channel, and... Uh, do appreciate all the support we get so thank you guys so much anyways that's all for today if you have any questions or anything like that please let me know and number one thing of course is stay safe out there